How's my mom? Well, Sis, is mom okay? I don't know. We're just finding out now. Okay. Well, are you two the, the children? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's already with me. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, your mother is just on her way back to her room now. She's just finished with the CT. Um, so we just did the CT to make sure she didn't sustain any other major injuries as a result of her, of her fall. So the only thing that we found in terms of injuries was the fractured hips. So that's, that's fairly encouraging news. Now, unfortunately, when we did do the CT, we found some metastases. So... Where? Uh, well, it's unfortunately, we found the metastases in the liver. Um, we're not really sure where the cancer started. But it's it's now in several different locations so, throughout the body. So 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 what does that what does that mean? Well, um, because your mother is at such an advanced age, um, and because the cancer has spread in numerous locations through the body, there's really not a lot we can do. Doctor Ring, what brings you to my office? Well, uh, I have a situation for you. It's kind of a tricky one. Oh, okay, um, have a seat. The patient's uh, family is actually going to be looking for some advice in this case. Oh, okay. So pretty much we had an elderly woman, 85 years old. She had a, she had a fall, and so we were thinking that she might have suffered, um, you know, some potential head trauma. Okay. So we sent her in for a CT, and everything in terms of that is fine. However, um, we, we found some uh, metastases. Oh, okay. So How old not, is she? She's 85. Okay. She's 85. So at this point, the cancer has spread to her liver, to her brain. Oh. It's, it's very widespread at this okay. point. So, so, like, no treatment? It, it would just be palliative. Okay. You know, improving her standard of life. After talking with the children, at this point, they're really not wanting to tell um, their mother about about the cancer, and at I at all. Yeah, they just want to continue on as if as if nothing happened. Oh, okay. I'm really not comfortable with that though. I so see. I feel okay. like she needs to be informed. So um, okay, why don't you go get the children? Okay, sounds good. Telling her would just make things worse and make her emotionally distressed. And I think both of our concerns is that we don't want the last months of her life to be well. Awful. Yeah, and when our father died uh, about a year ago, she just took it really hard, like months of depression. And it just, it was, she wasn't in a good state, so I feel like she would not take the news well. From what I understand, you guys do not have power attorney. No, we don't right now. No. Okay. Have you reached your final decision then? I don't know. We, we really don't feel like we should tell her, but uh, do you understand Dr. Green's concern here, though, with not telling her? Well, what does it mean if we don't tell her? Is Dr. Green, what does it mean if they don't tell their mother her condition? If you, if you don't tell her, try and put yourself in her situation. If you had some sort of serious illness, would you not want to know? I mean, the patient has a right to know all of their, you know, their health information. Okay, how are you feeling this morning? Are you feeling any better? Yeah. So I have some news for you. Um, because you did lose so much blood, um, we're gonna have to do a blood transfusion just to get your blood levels back up to normal. Um, it's really important that we do this. So we're probably gonna do it sometime this afternoon. Um, well, well, we, we, can't, we can't have a blood transfusion. Why not? We're Jehovah's Witness and blood transfusions are against our religion. But it's really important that he has this. I mean, w without the blood transfusion, there, there is a, a, a potentially fatal problem. I don't, I don't like that word fatal. Mom, Dad, seriously, like, I need this transfusion. It's okay, son. We're making these de this decision for the best of him and his beliefs. Then don't you care about me? I need the transfusion. I could die. You know our religion. Only God has, right, has the right to make these decisions, so he won't be having the transfusion. Do you want this transfusion? Yes, I want the transfusion. And you guys won't allow it? No. He's a minor, and we, we have the right and to you, make the decision. And you understand that, that he could potentially die? Yes. Listen to the doctor. Well, why don't we go and discuss this then with, um, with the counselor, and we can maybe, you know, work on their decision. Okay. We're going to go talk to the counselor, and we'll be back, okay? Okay. First off, tell me the full situation. All right. Well, um, we have a patient downstairs, 14 years old, who, um, you know, went in for a routine just a few As minutes. I understand, he's their son? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, for just a routine appendicitis surgery, unfortunately, we did encounter some complications. Um, we managed to nick an artery. So he suffered a traumatic amount of blood loss, and um, at this point requires a blood transfusion. It's become quite serious. Um, upon discussing the situation with the patient, I mean, he's really, really um, 
he needs the blood transfusion. He's oh. aware that he needs the blood transfusion. However, uh, it's my understanding that you guys' as parents are, are not going to allow this. Yes, we, oh. we are a Jehovah's Witness, and we are very strong in our beliefs that, and our beliefs state that they are against taking other people's blood. Okay. Do you realize your, your child needs this procedure to, to live, I, as I understand? Yes, we understand this, but in the Bible it states that life is a gift from God and we do not have a right to make that decision. Only God has that right. Oh, okay. How does the, your, does your child follow your religious beliefs? Like, have you thought of that? He, he's not of age yet, so his beliefs reflect our beliefs. What would be the consequences if you went ahead with this blood transfusion for your own religion? Well, if we were to have a transfusion, our child would be shunned by the community, um, our faith, and everyone we know. And I, I don't see how that would benefit his life, uh, aside from the fact we're Jehovah's Witness and we don't, we don't believe in that. Okay. And how, does, how do you feel, Dr. Bruce? Well, at the end of the day, I feel like your child wants his transfusion, and without it, he will probably die. And I've sworn an oath to, you know, to save lives, so I really don't feel comfortable, you know, refusing to treat someone. It's just not, I feel like it's just not right. Alrighty, so I can't believe it's 26 weeks already. So how's everything looking? Did you get all the results? Or is your husband with you today or? Uh, no, he's actually working. Oh, okay. my mom's in the lobby if you want me to go ahead. Okay, no, 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 that's fine. Um, so the results have come back from your ultrasound and your amnio and everything. And everything's looking great. Um, the results show that your baby has a severe bone abnormality. It's known as osteogenesis imperfecta, and your baby has severe type 3 of this abnormality. So hang on here. So, so there's something. So is, this a, is this a big problem? Like, should I be really concerned about this? Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty serious. Um, Basically, your baby right now, from the ultrasound, has a lot of breaks in their bones because the bones are very weak. And so, and when the baby is born, it, the bones are, remain very, like, brittle. So, it, it, the baby will not have a normal quality of life. Oh my goodness. But, but I've had four normal pregnancies. How could this happen? Uh, okay, well, okay, so, but, but if the baby's born, everything should be okay, there's treatments for this, you know, the baby can be fine. There are tests and everything after the baby is born, but the cost for these tests and the cost for the care of the child are very, very expensive. So it's definitely a big financial... But will the baby have a normal life? Like, it'll be able to function just like a, a normal child after all these procedures? No, the baby will never have a normal life. And the, because of the extent of the break so far, the, there's a good chance that it may not live past five years old. Oh my goodness. Um, you, have, you have a couple options. Okay. Um, some women that find this out, they carry through with the pregnancy and they, pre they deal with the financial okay. care and they, they go through all the tests and everything. The other option, some women will decide to abort the child and not carry through with the pregnancy. Okay, well that, that's not an option. Um, uh, I guess I'll have to discuss this with my husband, I suppose. Okay. So, I'm going to refer you to a social worker, and once you talk to your husband, I, I recommend that you guys go talk to the social worker, and she'll go over your options, Okay. and maybe it'll help you make this decision a little easier. Okay. Great. Okay. So why don't you tell me your full situation? Well, um, I'm at 26 weeks. And unfortunately, uh, at our last ultrasound, they found some severe defects with, uh, with our child. And um, I am in favor of just, you know, letting the pregnancy carry through. You know, it's my baby. I can feel moving inside of me. I, I want to keep it. Yeah, I'm not going to have it. We can't afford it. We just can't afford it. We have four kids already. And it just, it just seems like a better idea to, ha to abort this baby because, A, we can't afford it, and there's already defects with it. But, but this is your child, like, do you understand your wife's point of view here? No, just abort it, honestly, like, I'm, I, if, if I had the money, yeah, I would be like, okay, we can take care of this baby, even if it, you know, something goes wrong with the pregnancy. But again, I'm, I'm concerned about her, too. There could be something going wrong, like, the doctor already told us there could be something going wrong 
when she actually has the baby. With her help? Yeah, with okay. her. Uh, do you feel strongly that you can't financially provide for this child? Yes. And how do you feel? I feel at the end of the day, it's my choice. I mean, it's my baby. I mean, I'm willing to risk my own health for it. Um, I feel like I should be allowed to choose. 